Streets of Rage 4, released April of 2020. Available on all modern platforms. Retailing for $24.99. Streets of Rage 4 is a sequel to the Streets of Rage series made popular on the 16-bit Sega Genesis. It updates the series while staying true to its roots. It is, of course, a beat-em-up, meaning you move forwards, and you fight enemies, and then move forwards again until you get to the boss at the end of each stage. You can attack, you can use heavy attacks, which take a tiny bit of health, but you can get it back if you do regular attacks afterwards without being attacked, and you can use special moves, which are limited by the number of stars you have. So you might want to try and save those for the bosses. You of course have characters to choose from, each of which plays just a little differently. Some are a little faster, some hit a little harder. And you're not just limited to the characters you start with. As you play, you can unlock more characters. You can unlock characters from the previous three Streets of Rage games, meaning that there are multiple versions of the same character. And the difference is not just cosmetic. They actually play the same way they would have played in Streets of Rage 1, 2, or 3. This, of course, means that Streets of Rage 1 characters are missing several key mechanics for the game, but they're compensated for that in other ways. And a fair warning, if you're looking to unlock all of the characters, that is going to become something of a grind. But there is something to help with that grind, at least to some extent. After you complete the game once, on any difficulty level, you unlock a mode where you can select a level, and you can play the levels in higher difficulties. But when you go up a higher difficulty, you still have to start at level 1 and go through them sequentially. But doing it this way does allow you to bite off small chunks of the higher difficulty when you have time. And as things are unlocked with points, you do get a lot more points for playing on higher difficulties. There is also a DLC available for an additional $8. It gives you three more playable characters, all of which were bosses in the base game. More importantly, it unlocks Survival Mode. You go through a series of randomly generated backgrounds and enemies, and the points you gain here don't go towards unlocking characters. Instead, the points here allow you to unlock alternate movesets for whichever character you were using. As to if the alternate moves are actually better or worse, that seems to be a matter of taste. I do, however, appreciate that they're here, providing a level of character customization. As to other elements of the game, there is a very simple story here. Mr. X from the old games had a pair of kids, and the kids are following in Daddy's footsteps. And that might seem very simple. And it is. And I have no complaints about that because this is a beat-em-up. No one has ever played a beat-em-up for the deep story. Graphically, this game has beautiful 2D sprite work. Being somehow reminiscent of the Genesis originals, while also being far better looking than anything a 16-bit console could have ever produced. The music here is also pretty great, being very reminiscent of the 16-bit originals again, but sounding far better than the Genesis was ever capable of. So yes, there are a lot of elements here that are banking on nostalgia for the 16-bit original series. Thankfully, the underlying game is actually good enough that the nostalgia is just frosting on top of the cake. It's not necessary, but it's nice that it's there. So is Streets of Rage 4 worth your time and money? Yes, it absolutely is. However, I'm going to recommend that you don't actually spend the $25 on the base game and an additional $8 on the DLC. Because this game goes on sale frequently. And regardless of what platform you choose to play on, it's easy to find the game bundled with the DLC for $10 to $12. And while this game is certainly worth full price, it goes on sale frequently enough that I see no reason to actually pay full price. So absolutely yes, you should pick up Streets of Rage 4. But do yourself a favor and probably wait two weeks to see it on sale. Please do subscribe, comment, like, and tell your friends.